talking about uh, the ICC the digital uh, yeah. uh, insider for the ICC for the under 19 world cup in south africa how did that come up what was your reaction when you got that phone call i i in i your my immediate answer to your question is that i ran to my wife and i immediately burst into tears to be very honest because that's how excited i was but how did that happen again is is again a learning for myself and i'm glad i did it the way i did and it's a learning because i'd like to do more of that to create more opportunities for me in the future is because i remember i have i had a wedding to go to in in dubai a very close friend of mine was getting married there and so a bunch of friends were going and i was about to i was planning out that trip and i was going to go to dubai for that wedding and then i realized that i obviously knew that ICC were headquartered out of out of Dubai and that's where the digital team still is and yeah. stuff and uh, a very dear friend of mine who helps me a lot who sort of mentors me through this career is uh, the works with the ICC and he said now I'm just happy to connect you to them if if you think it will be helpful I said yeah please so he just did an email exchange and uh, they obliged and they said I'm happy to meet you for 45 minutes when you do come over right and the the point that i'm trying to make here is that i could have just gone for a wedding in dubai and come back yes. there's an opportunity for me to just go meet the icc team for what it's worth if they say no so be it but what if they say yes right yes. and so they did say yes to my surprise and what i then did was put up a presentation like i spent some time proposing a certain piece of content as a property to them to the icc and then i spent some time in fleshing out that detailed deck and stuff and so i went there and in that meeting instead of it just being a high and by meeting it was me presenting that plan to them right um i came back i i was quite happy with how the meeting went it was in november i didn't hear back for a month and a half can you believe it so in my mind i assumed it's one after the several conversations where you try for something but it doesn't work out it's it's the story of our lives to be honest in this yeah. industry you'll probably know that right so and then I, we were we were on vacation for new years with my wife and friends and i come back to singapore and uh, suddenly i get a text from uh, the digital team manager there saying nav uh, sorry for the delay happy new year we just wanted to know if are you still available for those dates uh, and then i run to the and i'm like sure this and i immediately burst into tears and it was quite literally 7 to 10 days before the start of the world cup right wow. the under 19 world cup was starting in 7 to 10 days it was god's blessing that i was in singapore because the processing of a south africa visa in singapore is significantly faster than had i been in india uh, i if i was in india at that time i would not have even gone to south africa so i wouldn't have gotten the visa in time we immediately worked overnight to get all the documents in place I submitted it. I got my visa that evening at 5 p.m. and I left to the airport right after that for a 9 p.m. flight. The point I'm trying to make there is sometimes you have to just create these opportunities. You don't let, you don't wait for things to come your way, right? So is you try you do your bit in creating an opportunity and you leave the rest to whatever has to happen.